Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, December 28, 2020. We're getting to the end of the year and usually that is a very volatile period. And uh, it will be very interesting what basically what happens when the market opens because uh, everybody that's been paying attention to Bitcoin, it has basically been parabolical. Now the market has basically been closed. It has risen, uh, broken past uh, 25,000, 26,000, 27,000, and also 28,000. And on our screen here, we have the US dollar index. And usually the US dollar um, trades opposite of, uh, of Bitcoin. So when Bitcoin rallies significantly, that usually is an indication that the US dollar will start depreciating. So it will be really interesting to basically see what happens to the US dollar when uh, it starts trading. So I expect a pullback. These technicals here are all set up for a major pullback in, in basically Bitcoin, uh, a Bitcoin, a US dollar. You can see the CCI is uh, turning around. The, the stochastic is basically becoming flat. So is the, the MACD. And we also tested the 20 exponential um, uh, basically one week ago. So, and we got basically... We touched it and then we basically got sold into oblivion. So at this point, I think that we are just going to see more of the same. That is basically rally up towards the 20 exponential, breakdown, rally, breakdown, rally, and then breakdown. So if we take out this uh, lower uh, candlestick here at roughly uh, 89.64, that opens the door to much lower levels. And that is important because um, commodity, commodities... Precious metals, indice stocks, usually trade opposite of the US dollar index. So if this starts depreciating, then we may see major rallies in commodities, precious metals, and so on and so on. So let's look at oil. So before we can we start, if you want to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And if you want access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and our online trades and courses, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we are trading at the moment at 48.26, and we are only roughly $2 away from major, major resistance. So 50 is where I think most sellers will come in and basically sell this significantly lower. We may get to 51. We may often it basically overshoots if we get a really nice rally here. But at this point, world economy is still uh, severely weakened by the coronavirus, especially in Europe, especially in the United States. And that usually means that there is a much less demand for oil in the market and therefore prices should basically go down. Um, but 50 will be a major test. If that breaks, then we are going significantly higher. We're going to 55, we're also going to 60. Uh, but 50 is going to be major, major uh, test for this market. If we break down from here, the first uh, target here would be uh, the 20 exponential, which is uh, 46.5 at this current stage, and then the 50 moving average all the way down to 42.96 at this current stage. So. 33 roughly there and that would basically be coinciding with the previous highs here if we look at the fibonacci retracement for example for oil market and let's just say that we are going to 50 then we will take the lows here to the very highs of 50 and what we will see basically that the first fibonacci retracement is roughly here at 33 43.887 uh, and those are exactly the previous highs over here so it would make sense that if we get to the 50 that and we start breaking down, that we'll head towards this level. If this breaks, then we have the 50 moving average right underneath, which will be supportive. And then we have the 50 Fibonacci retracement at the 41.87. And after that, we have all the way down here to 40. That is the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. A break of this level here, almost guarantees uh, retest of these very lows. But 
we'll see basically what happens. Uh, first of all, we need a pullback, a fairly major pullback uh, from or rejection at the 50 level in order to determine whether or not we are going lower in this market. So let's look at natural gas. So it is just a continuation of the same over and over again. I think at this moment it is almost inevitable that we are going all the way down towards two, uh, the 200 moving average. That is at 2.2775. So we have been breaking down, rallying towards the 20 exponential, breaking down, rally to the 20, ra break down, rally to the 20, and now we have another breakdown. So if you manage to take out these lower candlesticks here, that opens the door to the 200 moving average. I think there's going to be a massive amount of buying here. If the 200 moving average breaks, then we are going significantly lower. But this is where I will be interested in basically starting buying into this. And the first target will be the 20 exponential at the 2.6, the 50 exponential at the 2.8, and probably all the way up to 3.3. That is... Uh, very optimistic, um, but but it could happen. This market usually, when temperatures change and, and so on, it usually rallies significantly. We just see what happened back in 2018 and 2019, where we had this massive rally and decline. So at this point, I'm just waiting until we basically, basically get towards the 200 moving average in order to determine whether or not this is going to be the turnaround in this market. So let's look at copper. As you can see, we are trading at 3.568. The 20 exponential moving average was uh, supported again. It has been supported for a very long time. And if it doesn't support, then the 50 will. At this point, technical indicators are turning around. And if we will see a depreciation of the US dollar, a continuation of that, that will just increase the, the value of this commodity. At this point, I have really no interest in basically buying into this. If you wanted to enter this, you should have entered it here. And the target uh, is not that high. It is basically 3.6363. So the highs of this. If that breaks, then we are most likely going to 3.7. If we break below the 20 exponential, then we'll probably head towards the 50 and that it will be an even better buying opportunity. So let's look at gold. So because um, Bitcoin has rallied so significantly and the reason why Bitcoin is rallying so significantly is because people are using it as a safe haven. Uh, you're not seeing the same rally in the other cryptocurrencies. It's not like people are gathering around and basically pumping all, all the other cryptocurrencies. It's basically just Bitcoin at this stage. Each of them a little bit, but mainly Bitcoin that is going absolutely bananas at this point. So people are using it as a safe haven as they us usually do um, when economies um, are expected to decline. They go to gold, but at this point, it, uh, gold and silver, but they also go at this point to Bitcoin. So we could expect a major rally in the, in basically in gold when it, the market start, opens again. So we need to get through this resistant line. We have tested it basically three times. We have been rejected and we are, we have a support line underneath here, which we most likely at this point will not get to. If the US dollar starts depreciating significantly, if we now manage to take out this line here, then we are heading to, first of all, 1900 will be broken. Then we're heading to 1950, 2000, 2050, 2100, and then beyond that. In the long run, gold will be go significantly higher, similar to Bitcoin, because people are... Uh, putting basically their money into a safe haven like gold and to, to Bitcoin at this, um, strangely enough. But, but that is uh, what the market is basically indicating at this point. So uh, if we break down from here, 20, 50 moving average will be supportive. The 20 will be supportive. 
200 will definitely be supported. I don't think that we'll get there at this point if we have a significant decrease in the US dollar index. Otherwise, I was expecting this to travel in between the support and resistance line and then break out when we got uh, closer to this corner. But that breakout may happen, well, this week. So let's look at silver. So usually it's basically silver that follows gold, but at this point it is gold that is following silver. So silver broke out of its uh, this resistance line, uh, well, several trading days ago. We rallied all the way up towards its uh, 27.35 uh, and then broke down towards the 20 exponential and then rallied again. At this point, uh, this trend line here, which is very steep, is basically our support line. So this line here. So every time we get close to this support line here, it's basically an uh, expectation of a, of a rally. There's going to be a massive uh, resistance above here. So this area of roughly $27 will be a major obstacle for this uh, for silver. If we manage to get through here, then we're heading all the way up to $30. Uh, $30. Um, that is my, how I see it. Pullbacks towards this trend line here is a major buying opportunity at this point. So let's look at platinum. So we broke down quite substantially all the way down to 900 and uh, roughly uh, 73 and then rallied. At the moment, I mean, we're trading above the 20 exponential. We are about to test these previous highs again of 1057 and then probably all the way up to uh, 1,078. If we manage to take out that, then we are going significantly higher. Uh, we, yes, we haven't got it on this chart, but if you look at the four hour chart, the next target here will be uh, 1185. That is basically the next target for, for, uh, for this commodity. No one's just basically shorting this that every single time we get close to the 20 exponential at this point, that is basically a major buying opportunity. It is probably um, still possible to enter this trade in order to buy with a stop loss right underneath the 20 exponential moving average. So let's look at pallium. This has been probably the most boring commodity to trade uh, for a very long time because nothing really happens here. So we have been stuck at the 20, the 20 or 50 uh, moving average for a very long time and which is right in the middle of the major resistance line and the major support line. So I tend to stay far away from, from uh, things that are basically trading in between major resistance and major support. However, we may have an um, a breakout here. If you look at this as a triangle, for example here, then we are probably trading into this corner and when we get there, we'll see an action to the downside, an action to the upside. But at this point, it is fairly difficult to say where it is going because these segment indicators are all fairly flat. So it's just a complete gamble of basically seeing where we are basically going. A better trade or just a wait is to, uh, to wait for this to go all the way up towards the uh, major resistance line. And if it turns around there, you, know, you can basically sell it. And if you go all the way down to the support line and it turns around there, you can basically buy it. That is probably the best thing to do at this point. We're just trading up and down in between this area sideways. So, so let's look at aluminium. So at this point, we're trading at uh, 2019 and we found a major res support here right underneath the 20 exponential moving average. So we did not get all the way down to the 50 moving average, which I 
hope we were gonna, we're going to. I hope for something similar to that, and then we continue continue to rally. We didn't do that. We went, uh, we broke the twenty exponential and then rallied. So we got down to nineteen seventy nine and then we rallied. At this point, yes, it is still possible to enter this trade with a stop loss underneath uh, these two uh, candlesticks and the target of the, these highs. It's not a massive trade, but it is still doable. I would rather that we head towards the 20, 50 moving average, which is fairly impossible at this point. Technical indicators are turning around, so we are most likely going to either stick in uh, above the 20 exponential or head to the highs here. So let's look at nickel. So nickel found major support here at the 50 moving average. Amazing trade if you entered it right here. We have this a lot of support right in this area here as well. So an entry here was absolutely perfect and a target of these very highs with a stop loss right underneath the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are still fairly bearish, so we may stick around here for, for a while before we rally. CCI is bullish, MACD and the stochastic are bearish at this point, and the RSI is a little bit bullish. It's fairly flat as well. But this is a major, uh, this is a very bullish candlestick, so we are most likely going to test these previous highs within the few uh, within a few trading days. 50 moving average is the absolute bottom of this market. So let's look at sugar. So as you can see, we broke down all the way down to 0 0.1403 and then rallied. We're trading above the 50 moving average at this point and we are most likely going to go significantly higher. MACD, Stochastic, CCI, RSI, all of them are very bullish at this point. And as we are trading above the 50 moving average, and, and are about to take out of these previous highs here, it is very likely that we are going to 0 0.1562, which are the very highs here. So a stop loss underneath the 20 exponential and a target take profit of 0 0.1563. That is still a possible trade. So let's look at cotton. So, well, this trade has gone. We, we broke down all the way down to the 20 exponential, rallied significantly, and then uh, got in, we ran the resistance at 0 0.76, uh, 36, and it basically, well, we lost most of our gains. At this point, I think that we probably would go, we can go a little bit lower before going higher or we just stick around this area, build enough momentum, and then go and test the previous size. At least the 20 exponential has proven to be major support. So every time we get close to the 20 exponential, expect a pullback from there. Technical indicators are still fairly bullish, so I favor the upside. This is just not a trade that I think I should enter at this moment because we're still far away from the major support. And there's a lot, not a lot of gain to be um, here because we'll run into major resistance at 0 0.7711. So let's look at Kakoa. So as you can see, we uh, found support here at 2.436. Just about the 20, uh, 200 moving average, then rallied, broke down again, and then rallied, and now we're trading above the 20 exponential moving average. This is almost a perfect setup in order to buy Kakoa. Uh, we know that the 50 moving average is fairly um, supportive, so um, stop loss right underneath the, 20, uh, the 50 moving average, and a target of these very high here, 2.8, that is a fairly good trade. Technical indicators are turning around, so expect this to go higher. It may be choppy, as it was very choppy the way down, and also very choppy on the way up. So uh, back and forward, but target of these very highs, that is very plausible at this point. So let's look at wheat. 
we can see that we rallied from the 50 moving average, ran into resistance here at 632, and now we're turning around. So it is very likely that we are going back towards the 20 exponential and then rallied from there. So this was a massive rally from all the way down from 564 to uh, 632. So roughly, um, yeah, yeah, that is a massive rally. We ran into basically resistant because these are the previous highs. So pull back towards the 20 exponential, that is basically a buying opportunity at this point. Technical indicators are fairly bullish. The RSI, CCI is basically turning around and so is the RSI but the uh, Stochastic and MACD are still bullish. Pull back towards 20, that is a uh, buying opportunity with a target of these highs and a stop loss right on the 20 exponential moving average. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome, to, uh, <laughs> you're welcome to write to me a question if you have any questions about these trades. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.